Alrighty, what is going on guys? It is Buzzy here today back with another video. Hope you guys are all doing absolutely fantastic as always. So today guys, we're going to be talking about the patch notes that came out and the recent update that happened to Cold War just fixing an absolute bunch of stability fixes, bugs, crashes, all that type of stuff. But more importantly, the one that affected zombies and for a second, literally made the whole community cry and that was the Ring of Fire slash Ray Gun nerf, okay? That was thankfully accidental, which I'm sure you all know by now. But uh, since that has been reverted, I've noticed a few other things and uh, things that I don't think were well, intended or either not talked about in the patch notes that Treyarch may have been trying to hide from us that are now in the game after I played yesterday uh, and this morning getting to around 100. So um, yeah, we'll go over the patch notes here, but make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd appreciate that and uh, drop a fat like on the video. That would be awesome. But yeah, so starting off and if you're not up to speed of what's been happening, basically uh, there was an update two days ago now pretty much that was fixing a bunch of weapon buffs and nerfs doing all that type of stuff and unintentionally the ray gun and ring of fire uh taking the ammo with the tier 3 upgrade of the ring of fire for some reason on the ray gun that was no longer a thing and instead of taking it from the stock it would just take it from your mag which basically completely destroyed the nocturne totem um roof camping spot slash strategy in fact i'm wrong it actually didn't completely destroy it it was still perfectly viable but it just made it made it a lot more annoying meaning you had to time your reloads properly and sort of sit back a little bit further making the strategy a little bit slower more risky etc it really wasn't the worst thing the strategy would have worked fine but i don't agree with you know if this was intentioned uh in, intentional sorry to happen it would have been stupid because Treyarch should not... I mean, obviously, they make the game, they can do what they want, but it would have just seemed a bit weird for Treyarch to pick and choose what guns actually take advantage of this Ring of Fire ability. And I feel like them nerfing it just for the sake of nerfing it is stupid. Zombie players play zombies to find strategies to do as best as we can. If Treyarch are going to go ahead and nerf every single strategy we find, what is the point in playing zombies and going for high rounds? There would just be no point. And... Treyarch need to keep these strategies. They shouldn't nerf it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's super fun. It's casual. It's easy. It's fast. And it gets people playing the game. New players as well. And it, it's just a good strategy that people have found. You know, there's no glitches involved. So I'm very happy that the Ring of Fire got reverted. But here's the patch notes and here's all the things they said that was changed slash reverted so zombies uh various stability fixes the field upgrades address an issue where it prevented wonder weapons from pulling ammo from the stock while using the tier 3 ring of fire that is obviously obviously fixed uh, enemy AI address an issue that could cause zombies to stop attacking players after the anomaly to the dark ether address an issue that rarely caused the Megatron a uh, Megaton to spawn near players unexpectedly and address an issue that caused incorrect armor damage feedback for heavy zombies I'm not really sure what that means but I've noticed three things since playing um, that were not r mentioned in these patch notes the first one being with the ring of fire strategy and actually sort of a little um I guess, you know, strategy that was people were doing with the Ring of Fire uh, strategy. And that is basically when the Ring of Fire was popped, you would move in and out of the Ring of Fire in order to recharge the Ring of Fire whilst it is activated. Now, what I've noticed is you can no longer do that. The Ring of Fire will not start refilling unless it is uh, ran out. Unless the Ring of Fire has stopped being active, you are unable to refill the Ring of Fire. So this was really good because what it was allowing you to do is basically have a constant ring of fire if you're able to pop back in and out and get zombie kills out of it so it meant as soon as your ring of fire finished you could just pop another one and it would mean you wouldn't have to rely on your chopper gunner as much so realistically it doesn't change the strategy much all it means is you will just have to probably use your chopper gunner instead of going straight to another ring of fire uh, and you just have to be more conservative with it and you know time it properly for the bosses and all that type of stuff so that's the first thing i've noticed Second thing I noticed um, yesterday, which happened after the first change, now I'm not sure if this has been changed, but I noticed I was getting more than one boss per round when I was playing solo. So when a boss round would happen, I would actually get one at the start and then one towards the middle slash end of the round, having two per round. 
in solos, by the way. So this never happened to me. And I'm wondering if this has happened to any of you guys as well. So let me know down below. Uh, I'm not sure if this is still happening. That may have been unintentional as well because it said nothing in the patch notes about it. So I'm really not sure, but that was happening to me. Let me know if it's been happening to you. And the third thing that has not been mentioned in the patch notes that I've realized is now with the armored zombies, when you're actually breaking the armor, instead of the text coming up in white or yellow for headshot, it will now show up as blue text uh, and damage numbers if you have those on until that zombie armor is broken so you know I guess what you're hitting the armor or the zombie really at the end of the day it doesn't really make much of a difference or help you're there to do damage and you're doing damage regardless so yeah that is about it for the patch notes thank god the strategy lives on to see another day Thank you guys so, so much for watching the video. We'll be back with more, more zombies content soon. I've got a bunch of awesome videos planned. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. Peace out and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.